CGCP 2508 by Chastetica. Two rooks, a bishop and a knight, white has against blacks, lone rook. The rook on c2 is in a position to be captured. So what should white do here? Maybe rook on the f-file to c5, defending it. Rook to d1, knight to c1 check, king to a3, rook on the second rank to c3 check, king to b4, rook on the third rank to c4 check, king to a3, rook to a5 check, king to b2, rook to b5 check, if king to a3, rook to b3 mates, and if king to a1, rook to a4 mates. A mate in 7. And surprisingly, no piece captures necessary either. But is this the best way? It turns out, no. And here's why. All white needs to do here is play knight to d4 check. This also defends the rook on c2. King to a4. And here, a rook sacrifice. The other one, rook to a5 check. King captures a5. Bishop to d2, forking the king and the rook. If king to a4, rook to a2 mates. If king to b6, rook to c6 mates. And if king to a6, rook to c6 also mates. So not only is this solution much shorter, but white also sacrifices a rook. Now here, if black had played for example king to b4, the mate would be even faster. Because after bishop to d2 check, both king to a3 and king to a4 can be met with rook to a5 mate. So to last the longest, black actually has to play king to a4, and as you can see from the analysis, in order to satisfy the stipulation of mate in 4, this rook sacrifice is necessary. I hope you enjoyed this one. Until next time. Chesthetica's Book of Chess Constructs, Volumes 1 through 5. Available on Amazon.